Hello. Hello, still in Seattle, and today Steve and I Hello. are off to an Airstream dealership, Airstream Adventures Northwest. Really looking forward to it, but the weather is being very Pacific Northwest. Wet. Wet. You know, they call it the Pacific North wet. The Pacific North wet. Yes, I, I, I get that. Look at all those airstreams, my goodness. Oh my word. I have never seen so many airstreams in one place, ever, ever, ever. My, they're just, just everywhere. Good grief. Your destination is on the left. I just, just, well. Good grief. Have you ever seen so many airstreams in one place in your life? Wow. So here we are at Airstream Adventures Northwest, which is south of Seattle, north of Tacoma, oh, yeah. in a place called Covington. Covington and you can see the weather is pretty atrocious. So the lovely guys here, the first thing they've done is pulled this base camp to an undercover area for us to have a look at. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So here it is, here's the new incarnation of the Airstream base camp. So you have the kitchen at the front. What's that? So we're gonna have to get the guys to show us around. Dometic fridge. So this is all at the front of the trailer. And then you've got these really neat cargo nets at the front. And then looking back, that's a dinette that they've currently got as a bed. And then you have a loading door for your surfboards or your bike. And then into the washroom. Oh wow, it's a really neat little washroom. so cool this is awesome here what's this so this is ted this is ted from airstream adventures northwest hi ted Hello world so what are you going to show us ted what's down there well, oh that's cool great. just a great storage area for your devices with usb charging built into it that is so neat and then actually a cable uh connector here so that you can actually run your uh, cables in then lockable which is nice just so your gear is nice safe and secure that's cool and i noticed this too Truma, Truma blown air heating. We recognize that, we recognize that. Stealing all our European technology. I love it. Sharing, when sharing. When it's good, it's good. When it's good, it's good. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. And here we are, here we are with the dinette made up as a dinette. And we have just met a subscriber, haven't we, Stephen? Called we Kath have. Catherine. Catherine. And she has a base camp. From, from Welsh Wales. But she lives in the Pacific Northwest. Yes. So big hello to Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. It was great to meet you. So there we go. That's the base camp. And we have Steve here from Airstream Adventures hello. Northwest. Hi, Steve. Hello. Steve, can you tell us? How much this weighs and how much it costs, please. Absolutely. Without all some of the options that you can add, you're around 2,500 pounds, but it goes up to 2,800 pounds. Okay, so that's about, I'd say about 1,200 kilos, yeah. Good math, I like it on the fly. <laughs> and then uh, as far as uh, cost, you're looking about 39 to $40,000. Wow. US. Yeah. That's brilliant, an Airstream for $39,000. I'm just trying to think what that would be in pounds. Well. There's no okay. price on adventure. There's no price on adventure. I like your style, Steve. This is gorgeous. 
So a quick continuation of the exterior. Your logo. I recognize that. That's the exterior shower. That's your waste hose. Service line two. Service line two. Fresh water input. I'm feeling more familiar with all this. Electric hookup, connection, and the vent for the Truma heating. Then around the back, there's a loading door for your surfboards, push bike, etc. There's Dougal. <laughs> we're, we're in America and we're on the telly. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, that's <laughs> Sheila Boss Beach in Harris. Look, that's, that's the Olive. Look, 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 that's the Outer Hebrides. And we're in Seattle. And there's Cullinish Stones. But we're in Seattle. Oh my Are goodness. You? Are you sure? Yes. Oh, there was, the, there was Dougal. There's, oh. There's, there's Dougal. Right, we're back in the dealership. This is what we've come to meet. This is the Globe Trotter. So this has been designed. It. Oh my goodness! Look at this Zip D for a start. That is, uh, yeah, that's incredible. Wow! And the lights underneath. I haven't even gone inside yet, and I'm absolutely gobsmacked by the awning. I'm absolutely gob. Oh no! You're showing off. Now you're showing off. So I'm already bowled over and we haven't even gone into this baby yet. Oh my word. Look at this. <gasps> That is gorgeous. And then we have looking forward. So starting at the front, here's your dinette. And then you have a sofa. TV and you've got these lovely windows. Extra light and then these really cool cupboards. And the light comes on automatically when you open the cupboard. How cool is that? Looking around to the kitchen. Huge sink. What's this? So they're your bins garbage and recycling. Extractor fan over the cooker. Wow. I mean this is solid. This big fridge freezer. Dometic, very similar to the units we have over in Europe. So what's in here? That is so cool. And it's a nice, good, sensible height as well. Oh, I'm in love. So what's this one? That's your pantry. Enormous double wardrobe. This, I can't get over this. I'd be quite happy to have one of these just 
put it on a site in the UK because I think it's too wide to tow in the UK with a normal car license. Extractor fan in the shower, the washroom. It's all beautifully fitted. Oh. Oh, and when we have an opportunity here. Hello. Beautiful double bed, obviously an island bed. So no climbing over each other. And look, you've even got USB ports next to the bed to charge your phone and your tablet. And you have that on both sides of the bed, as well as your TV for tele addicts. Oh, I'd love one of these. That's it, I'm moving to the States. I mean, look how engineered this cupboard is. Look, look at that hinge mechanism. And then you have the gas struts as well. That is one heck of a well-engineered overhead locker. And this is why they don't need any catches. Great, lunch has arrived. We're gonna we're gonna give the uh, the Globe Trotter a good workout now. <laughs> Steve, can you tell us how much this weighs, please, and how much it would cost? Yes, uh, sixty-two hundred pounds, empty weight. Yep. And cost retail one hundred and eight thousand dollars. Well, I think it's worth every cent. Myself, it's beautiful. Me I want too. one. Yeah, I'm moving. That's it. I'm coming to America. I'm having one of these. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's eat. All right. Yum. Here's the back and side of the Globe Trotter. You got the uh, zip D here, shading the windows, and then you'll see this has stone guards at the windows as well. So here's the stone guard, and then you have the window, just to protect the windows when you're towing. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Airstream also make these beautiful, what they call touring coaches. There's just so many, so many. Oh, there's an international. Yeah. Oh, look, there's another international. This could be a long video, guys. I'm really sorry about this. I think I can fit in there. Excellent. So this just goes on and on and on and on. And all Tommy Bahama special edition. Oh my word. Ha! Huh. I think this is a classic. It's got a desk. Isn't that the cutest airstream you have ever seen? And here's another sport model. This is the Sport 23, I believe. I could seriously stay here all day. Here's another international. I know we've seen internationals, but how convenient. Right next door we have a flying cloud. It's probably the most popular spec. We'll take two. One each. <laughs>